You did it. You got our surprise box, Judy, Andy. Come here. Get your hair what it actually needs. The only conditioner that keeps its promise. Curly Whirly. Today in tutorial time, a glimpse behind the curtains. A crazy magician. And of course, the butcher. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. Glad you made it. Welcome to tutorial time. Before we start, first things first. This is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. I will provide more of an overview of my creative process. Think of it as a behind-the-scenes look. But before we dive in, let's decide if you want to see how the magic happens. Just like when a magician reveals their tricks. When you know the trick, the magic disappears. Your choice. If you want to continue, let's start. First, let's talk about character animation. To bring a character to life in Comfy UI, it is great to have a custom open pose rig in your chosen 3D software. I've got a custom rig for Cinema 4D, but there are free options for Blender as well. Check the description for the links. For the animation, you can use motion capture data from Mixamo or simply animate it yourself and finally transfer the animation to your rig. Now, on to creating the environment for your scene. With a simple prompt, we create an image of our desired scene, zoom out and upscale several times. After that, we create a depth map. With your depth map, an enhanced image in hand, it's time to create a 3D environment in your preferred 3D software. Now that you have your animated character and 3D environment, it's time to bring them together. Just add some fancy camera animation and create a final scene that tells your story. Both of these layers will drive our control net inputs in Comfy UI. For now, this is more of a trial and error to get to a satisfying result. I also use prompt traveling to tell animate diffusion, what is happening across the animation. I also made a different version, where our hero is falling into an underground cave. The conclusion. For now, this technique works great with 2D style models like Tunyu. I mean, look at the details of splashing water that the AI creates for us. For a more photorealistic approach, I am eagerly waiting for SDXL motion models for animate diffusion. Currently, there is only the option to use Hotshot XL and SDXL motion models. Overall, we have great times ahead of us. But still, if you do not want to be dependent on paid services and have more control over your result, get your hands on Animate Diffusion. Experiment, try things out, explore the deep unknown, have fun. Until next time, cheers. Mm -hmm.